When is the narcissist finally done? When is it finally over? When are they finally finished with you? When you are involved with a narcissist, you will experience the back and forth where you are first moving in one direction and then in the opposite one and you just never know where you are with them they're hot and then they're cold they keep changing their attitude towards something Sometimes they're very enthusiastic and then other times they express no interest at all. It leaves you very confused. It leaves you wondering where you stand with them. Which is actually what they want. They want you to feel unsure. They want to keep you on your toes because that's how they control you. By keeping you on edge and making you wonder when the next shoe is going to drop. That's how they keep you under their spell. That's how they keep you guessing. That's how they get you to obsess over them. They want you to feel like they're always done. So you're just constantly trying to win them back. But they never actually leave. They're always there, as long as they need something from you unless you've been hung out to dry unless they've decided to abandon you at a time of difficulty but even then as soon as you get back on your feet they'll be back again so when is the narcissist finally done? when are they finally finished with you? When is it finally over? The narcissist is done with you when they find another source of supply. As long as that source of supply is a suitable replacement. If they're not, the narcissist will return to you. But even if they do find a suitable replacement, at some point there's going to be arguments. The narcissist is either going to do the same thing that they did to you, or the new supply is going to get fed up of them. Either way, it's destined to fail. And then there's a chance that the narcissist might return to you again unless you're no longer susceptible to their manipulation unless they know that you finally figure them out you finally see through them when that happens the narcissist isn't going to risk coming back to you they're not going to put themselves in a position where they might be rejected where they might be humiliated They have a false sense of pride and arrogance. They're very weak, fragile people. And rejection is like life or death for a narcissist. They can't deal with it because they have a very fragile sense of self. But when you finally figure them out, there is a good chance that the narcissist will not return to you. I say good chance because of course there are exceptions. There are situations where the narcissist isn't smart enough 
to realize that you want nothing to do with them. Or maybe they just don't care. Maybe they can't see beyond their own egos. So there may be situations where the narcissist may return to you, even if you've made it clear that you want nothing to do with them. There are situations where the narcissist will not leave you alone. They will stalk and harass you. They will get other people to monitor you. They can become very obsessive. They don't know how to let things go. When you reject a normal person, they will just leave you alone. But with the narcissist, it causes a narcissistic injury. It makes them want to get revenge on you. So if you try to get rid of the narcissist, they're just going to cling to you even more. They have abandonment issues. They cannot deal with rejection. So they will try to lock you into situations where they can't be rejected. They will push for marriage or children early on in the relationship because they want to remove your control over the situation. They want to direct the course of events and they want to minimize the risk of rejection and abandonment because those are two of the narcissist's biggest fears. So in some situations, it may feel like the narcissist will never be done. It may feel like it's never going to end, which may cause you to lose hope. You may feel like you are locked into a situation from which it is impossible to escape. Because in some situations, the narcissist will never be done. They might run off to other sources, but at some point they will always return to you, even if it takes months or even years. They will always come back when they need something, or when they see that you have managed to rebuild. The narcissist is a parasite, and you are their host. They benefit from deriving nutrients from you at your expense. So why would they ever leave? If a narcissist is comfortable somewhere and they're getting their needs met, they've got no reason to go anywhere. If you want to eliminate a parasite, you have to starve them of vital nutrients. You have to cause them to die from hunger. And to do that, you have to take away your attention. Stop focusing on them. Stop giving them what they want. Stop attending to all of their needs. And if they try to engage in an argument with you, don't react emotionally. Don't try to defend yourself. If they start to shout, just leave the room and watch as they begin to wither away. Without anything to feed off, the narcissist will starve. And when they decide to leave you, they will remember that. They will remember how they couldn't get anything out of you. And they will think twice before they return to you again. Because all the narcissist is really looking for is a pushover, 
a doormat, someone who is going to do whatever they want. All you have to do is stand your ground and refuse to give in to them, set boundaries, and they will be forced to leave and find another host. They will think twice about returning to you again. And that's when the narcissist is finally done. When you're done. When you're done, there's really no reason for the narcissist to stick around. They need a willing participant. They need someone who is going to feed them. And if you're not going to do that, they're left to starve. They're left to find someone else. It all depends on you. You have the power to decide when they're done. Once you've had enough, they're forced to move on. They're not going to remain in a situation if they're getting nothing out of it. So all you have to do is pull back on what you're giving to them. Or just take care of yourself. When you're with a narcissist, you will find that you begin to neglect yourself. All of your resources are spent on building up the narcissist. But if you take some of that and start looking after yourself again, that's enough to starve the narcissist. They need all of your attention to be on them. They can't have you looking after yourself because they see it as though that's time taken away from them. When they need all of your attention, they need as much as they can get. So if you just start looking after yourself again, you will find that the narcissist begins to move on. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.